Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new stream of uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler. Uh, I just wanted to check this game out, even if it is good or bad, because this is a fishing channel and it makes sense to check out all the games that come out. Uh, so let's see what's the good and what's the bad of this game. Why not? Martin, how's, how's it going? Wooden Baser, Beluga, wow, long time. Guys, where have you guys been? It's good to see you. Uh, so this is the game. When I open the map, uh, it's pretty darn big. That's impressive. There are a few lakes and rivers. Uh, so let's go have a look at that. Now, right off the bat, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. The water looks terrible. What the hell were they thinking? Something was seriously wrong when they thought this water looked fine. I looked at my visual settings. No, this is not a free game. I looked at my visual settings and I was like, you know what? Maybe I have a setting that's screwing up the water. No, people on Steam reviews have said the same thing. The water is terrible, so it's not just me. It's for everyone. And for a game where you're staring at the water because you're fishing your entire life, it doesn't make sense to have it this poor. But uh, let's go ahead and start fishing. We are just in one of the starting towns. It says visit the watermill. Watermill, the golden tour, visit the watermill. And so we can go ahead and drive here to visit the watermill. But before we do that, let's actually fish. Uh, I want a bigger hook. So we will buy a bigger hook, but let's just go fishing first. This is our float setup. Uh, with, uh, with the bread right now, this golden tab here shows us that yes, that is bread. We have a size 10 hook. Man, I really want to upgrade our hook. And the casting is so annoying. Yeah, I gotta like take my mouse back and... And flick my mouse forward. Now, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of space on my uh, keyboard tray. So I cannot do this easily. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can change the casting. Are you serious? Oh my god, yes. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Keyboard bindings. Accessibility. Camera assist. Unit subtitles. Where will that be? Uh, auto move toggle, inventory, aha, short cast, cast is just, accessibility, uh, aha, uh, accessible cast off, let's see what this does. Thank you so much. Is that a... F uh, I can't even see my float. Like, can you guys see the float? I don't know where the float is. <clears throat> Let's just bring it in quickly. And I just want to try again. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to catch any fish here. I need to cast further and in another spot. So we will just move. Uh, bef before we do that, let's go ahead and check the shop out. I do want to buy a bigger hook. Because I want bigger fish. Uh, where is this lady? It's so over there. Uh, the characters talk, but their lips don't move. That's another detail, unfortunately, that really hits the game. <clears throat> There's the lady. What's on this board here? Fishing challenge. Map challenge one. Catch a fish here. Okay, I don't want to take these right now because I just want to explore. And once we feel comfortable, then we will go. Uh, driving boat, car boat, lesson. We don't need these lessons. I've already done oh, so. Boy. 
got a deal for you. Oh, shut up. Hey, she's talking life, right now. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the green <sighs> She's so annoying. Quiet. Should we buy size one? You've heard fish move really slow. Let's buy a size one hook. Oh my god, 50 coins! Wow! That's so expensive. And you know what? I don't even know how much money we get from catching a single fish. Uh, hook size. Let's make it hook size one. Perfect. Uh, what was I going to do, guys? I forgot. We need to catch a fish first before we move out. Okay, I just want one bloody fish to show you guys. So let's run over here. Aha. I have caught fish from the boat dock. Oh, you only get money from doing quests and leveling up. Are you serious right now? What's the point of catching fish? You just get like points and I don't even know what that does. Alright, we will wait. Duncan, hi, how's it going? Yes, I am playing the angler. This is probably going to be my one and only stream of the angler because I feel like I'm going to cover the entire game in this one short stream. Oh, you see the fish? You see the fish? Tiny little fish going towards it. Oh my god, what is this? No, we're not going to strike. There we go. Now we're going to strike. So if we pump... So if we pump the rod, it brings the fish closer. Do I like R4 better? Well, it's not even a question. <laughs> uh, we got 12 XP. We got a bronze rainbow trout, okay. I can't even change my character, like her hair is always blonde. I couldn't even change the hair color. 13.52 uh, degrees Celsius, I'm not sure why I need the temperature. Bread is used, traits. Uh, when I hover over them, it doesn't tell me anything. Score, like what do I do with all of the score? I get so much score. So, um... We leveled up, weight 0.6 kg, release fish, there is nothing else we can do. Alright, so that's how, that's how fishing works. And that was on a size 1 hook, are you serious? I thought we were getting, gonna get bigger fish on size 1 hook. But anywho, uh, let's go to the water mill, which is up here. Uh, do I like R4 better? Yes, I also like uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 better as well but again i just started this game so you know i don't want to be too harsh right off the bat uh even though it's pretty evident guys come on uh we're back currently waiting oh my god no don't don't message from the phone uh, safe driving i'll give the angler three months and see if it's better then uh the shocking thing is guys before the release it was already getting pooped on and there were zero words from the developers. And now that the game is released and it has over 1,300 negative or mostly negative reviews on Steam. Uh, <clears throat> the, the developers or management or whoever. Uh, they still haven't put out a statement that hey we hear you we're going to improve the game blah 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 try to save face. They just haven't even tried. So I really don't know what's going on either. They just fired everyone on the team and they're like, all right, screw this. this we're going to abandon this or, you know, like, what are they doing? Talk to the people. Come on. Dijon, hello. Where is the Dorn car spawn? It doesn't tell me. Why doesn't it tell me? Uh, I was on the right somewhere. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Alright, the vehicle sound is really loud, so if it is too loud, let me know, guys. Oh, I thought I was gonna get spawned inside the car. Uh, 
I wish there was a third person view. Because this is... Oh my god, quiet down, lady. She talks so much. She's so annoying. Uh, set waypoint. Perfect. Perfect, there we go. This jeep is just... Is there a trail I'm supposed to go on? on? I think so. Where is this trail? Oh, I gotta go left. Oh, there's the bridge. Okay, I see it. I'm supposed to use the bridge. Let's go from the water. Oh, crap. Okay, let's uh, not do that again. What the heck? Why is the Jeep so quiet now? I love it. You know, we took it into the water and now all, all the gears and crank handles and shafts are all lubed up and it's not being loud and annoying. What a nice trick. Ooh. Bam. Four hundred eighty meters. Oh god. Ooh, we can actually fish from the bridge, I would assume. Alright, there's supposed to be a windmill here. Remove waypoint. Ah, uh, it's to the right. What the heck? What's that sound? Oh, here. That's just the sort of weed we're looking for, Buck. Sally will be rip rear and ready for introductions in no time. I even made her little business cards. Hi, fake. Namerton. How's it going? Uh, needed a day one patch. I mean, guys, come on, tell me. Like, are they even working on a patch? Or is the game abandoned? Because, like I was saying just a minute ago, we haven't heard anything from the Angler team. Not on Steam, not on when you Google anything. So, what's going on? I personally like Ultimate Fishing 2 better than this game. Uh, because the fish fighting and the water are just atrocious. And I don't know how people can even say that it's better than ufs2 like this is a fishing game not a not a driving simulator so uh like you know the land looks nice it's a really big open world game which is great but what about fishing fishing is uh the main main focus here All right, let's get to this windmill. I want to see what this is. Ah! Oh God. Okay, okay. There's a bridge here. Very nice. If it ain't the last leech still sucking my nightmare and yours, the watermill. This ain't the same kind of corpulent blood guzzler you use for bait, though. This parasite slurps away at the very ground we stand on. Unlike it's just as evil twin the sawmill, this piece of work is allowed to keep working, which makes its work that much worse. I just hope this thing stops spinning before the world does. If I'm around to see it, all the better. What am I supposed to do here? It's this point of interest. Like, have I already done the point of interest? Because there was nothing interesting here. <laughs> I'm not sure. Look, uh, all I'll say is both games, UFS2 and The Angler, both have been pretty disappointing at launch. Which is such a heartbreaker for all of us, because we all lose. You know, like, 
I don't remember the last time we had two major fishing games coming out so close to each other. And it just sucks. But as a fishing game, like I said, UFS2 is much better. Uh, badly handled launch. Initial fishing can certainly be improved. Uh, give them a faith based on the hunter for now. I hope so. I hope. Uh, I know UFS2 has gotten loads of patches and they are improving. And I hope Call of the Wild, they get their stuff together and, uh, you know, they, they try to improve. Uh, visit Ghost Town. Where is Ghost Town? The Golden Tour Hot Spring. Visit Ghost Town. It's all the way here. You know what? Let's go, uh... Let's go to this lake here and fish there before we make our way to Ghost Town. Because it is a fishing game and I want to fish. <laughs> Jessica, how's it going? Oh my god, long time. I really hope you're do yeah, doing, doing well. How have you been? We missed you, Jess. We missed you so much. Uh oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh my god. <clears throat> Just checking out Call of the Wild. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, um, this is a fishing game. Oh my god, this is a fishing game channel, so it wouldn't be fair if I didn't check this game out, no matter how bad or good it is. There is a cave here. Jessica, you do not need to apologize for anything. Life happens, okay? Uh, but I so appreciate that you came here and you showed your face and I'm just happy you're good and well and, and hopefully back. I am doing good. Why am I getting these stutter things? This is so weird. It's not a stutter, but like it's really weird. Like my background, desktop background wants to like take over are you, ah, you guys are you guys seeing this oh boy this dt gaming hey how's it going welcome uh oh what, what's happening here uh we are just uh, off-roading here I uh, decided, oh my god, I decided to take the jeep for a spin in the water. And because of that, the jeep is very quiet and I'm so happy because it does, uh, it does hurt your head after like two seconds. So now you don't hear the jeep, you only hear, you know, the tire tires on the gravel, which is just bliss. I'm uh, gonna join back, been a busy mental health and doctors and all that. Okay, well, I'm glad you are A-OK. -okay. Uh, welcome back, Jessica. The entire community missed you. And we are very happy to see you. And I hope it uh, continues positively into the foreseen future. Oh, the game is about to crash. Uh-oh. I hope it doesn't. All right, so we are at this random lake. None of these lakes have a name, so we will just call this a random lake. And uh, let's just try fishing. Now, I have equipped a size... Why is this in size 10? Equip a size 1. Why can I not equip size 1? No. Ah. So I bought a size one hook and I can't use it. And it doesn't tell me if I need to be, you know, level two million or what do I need to be here? Yikes. Oh, Jess, I know, we were all hoping this would be 
an amazing game and it isn't. And the water just... Oh my god, it's just... Ugh. But you know what? I know everyone said UFS2 was going to be bad and whatnot because they never fixed any bugs. And I get that. And it's not, you know, like a perfect game or, a, or an amazing game. But to be honest, I'm enjoying that game. I'm actually enjoying fishing in that game. This game, there really isn't much. Like the water's dreary to look at when you get a fish, you just reel in or stop reeling in and that's pretty much it. But UFS too, like I'm actually fighting the fish, increasing and decreasing uh, the drag. And I'm just having a blast. And like, like I kind of want to stream it today as well. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stream this for another like one hour, 45 minutes. Uh, then I'm going to go on lunch, and then when I come back, maybe I'll stream RF4, or maybe I'll start a new stream with uh, UFS2. They're really trying to fix, fix stuff. My world is upside down. This is supposed to be the best game ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm enjoying UFS2. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Um, actually, reflection is low resolution. Yes! I think that's it. When you have water reflection in video games to the lowest setting, I think this is how it looks like. Maybe that's it. Why am I not getting any fish now? What's going on? Should we take a boat out or something? <laughs> Porter. Hi, how's it going? Thank you so much. Oh, 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 there's a fish. There's a bass. Is it going to come for it or was that just a lie? Oh yeah, there it goes. It's going to sound like a doorbell. Just watch. Wait, where'd my float go? Oh, it's right there. I'm not sure what's going on with the float. Oh, there's the fish. Cell 4, hi, how's it going? Welcome. I cannot strike until it tells me to strike. It's ringing the doorbell. We don't hear you, buddy. Knock louder. Ring the bell louder. Come on. There we go. Amazing. No shot. Wait, what? Every rod, reel, bait, lure, and soft a plastic can be mastered. A piece of gear is mastered when it has earned enough mastery points. Mastery points are earned by successfully catching a fish with that piece of gear. Mastering a piece of gear will grant you XP. I am a master caster. Okay, I've, master, uh, I've mastered this rod. <laughs> oh, man. Um, real and a bread still need to go point seven six kg. Ooh, bluegill. Ooh, that's a gold bluegill. Is that like a trophy? Wow, that bluegill is as yellow as this this human supposedly over here. Look at her face. Could you not have smiled, shown any emotions? Um, eight hundred thirty one XP. This fish does a drone strike, and this fish also uh toboggans down a hill. I think those are what these two mean. Let's go ahead and release the fish. And diamond bluegill is a trophy. Oh, oh god, what what happened? Okay, I leveled up. Uh, XP is awarded for activities such as catching fish, discovering locations and finding items. As you gain XP, you will earn Credits that can be used to purchase equipment, clothing, and more from the shop. I don't care about those. Earn enough XP and you will level up, granting you additional bonus of credits. Okay, hold on. Okay, as you gain XP, you will also be given credits. That does not explain anything to me. What does XP do? Earn enough XP and you will level up, grant. Okay, so XP is to level up to unlock stuff and then money... Uh, credits is used to purchase. Okay, got it. Uh, so what did I what did I get here? Can I use this now?
Okay, I need to know how to use this stuff, like equip it. Uh, keyboard binding, equip slot casting, increasing drag, steer. I don't know, it doesn't tell me. Uh, it's better with the environment, but it doesn't beat fishing aspect and water graphics of R4. But I think the game itself wasn't that good as R4. Someone found out that there is a exe file for a debug dev version of the game. Ooh, they forgot to take it out and you can run open <laughs> for edit game. <laughs> That's funny. Um, You guys want to take a boat out? Let's take a boat out. Guys, do you know how to equip different equipment? Because I can't do that. I can't even equip different baits. So something is definitely wrong. Let me put this back. Maybe now I should be able to do that. Equip E. No. Backpack rods. Ah, there we go. Finally. Oh, I can't put neither of these. No. So that hook is too big. Only size 10 works. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the shop and we are going to equip a bigger hook that we can put bread on. Uh, does it say what hook size? Max hook size is 8. Mac hook size is seven. Perfect. There we go. Wish I checked earlier. But hopefully I don't go cross-eyed looking at the water here. You know what else bothers me? The line coming out of the reel and going through the rod uh, rings. You can see how like there's slack on the line when even though from the tip of the rod to the water there is no slack. And it is always the exact same thing it looks like. <laughs> uh, exploration is what this game is good with should be a sightseeing game and fishing was just a side part of the game and that's why it's getting mostly negative reviews on steam because this is a fishing game exploration is good you know the world might look amazing and, and it might be fun to drive around but first and foremost it is a fishing game and they just dropped the ball on the fishing aspect um, so it's unfortunate. Nothing beats RF4 as a simulation goes. It has its flaws, but it's still, uh, yeah, I think everyone agrees. Um, fish fighting mechanism, the most complicated, the most realistic, the most challenging, the most rewarding is RF4. Uh, you know, in simulation side, RF4 is all the way there. And on the casual side, uh, fishing planet is the king. So both those games are free and then in between we have UFS2 which is a little bit towards our foresight and we have uh, the angler which is a little bit towards the fishing planet side. So rather than buying these game why wouldn't you just play those free games that do it so much better. So that waterfall ooh yo where are these fish like am I am I doing this wrong. It's a tiny hook with bread, so like it makes sense that we should be fine. I kind of want to do spin fishing too. How did I... E. Let's do lure fishing. Let's do this rod. I can't even do that, okay. Because maybe I'm using it. Make a thousand credits for exploration. That's literally everything. 
That's so much. I think we should just move, because... Also, our float depth isn't too... Oh, I need to look for splashes. Alright. Yeah, I remember seeing splashes at the beginning of the game. Oh, there we go. For a moment, I thought this lake was dead. Fishy, splash again, please. Oh, there we go. There's a fish there. That's so too high. Uh, depth does not matter. Ouch. Uh, will I play R4 later? So here's the thing, guys. I'm going to stream this till noon time. It's 10.24 a.m. here. Then I'm going to go at lunch. And then I'm thinking of streaming again. It's either going to be Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 or it's going to be RF4. In RF4 at Severski Donuts, um, I'm fishing for bluegills and I'm fishing for Donuts Rough. But I really want to go to Amber at 64 spot because there are trophies and a blue tags coming out and I really want to go there. Uh, so if more people want to watch one game, then I will stream that game. Okay, we got a tiny fish here. I have a feeling that Fishing Planet servers are acting up. Well, if they didn't screw up the water, this game would be a lot prettier. <laughs> Not just the color of the water. Oh, wow. What is this? Mountain Bluefish. It's a nighttime fish? What, what is it doing here? Uh, zero percent increase to everything. 0.1 kg. That's what ten grams. Cool. In this game, fish spawns as you travel, and you can see them swim. That part is actually fun. And now, as I was looking for a sign of fish, like in real life. Cool. <clears throat> um, I want to go to a shop. I think we should go to the shop. So have the developers of this game. Have they released a statement that, you know, they're working on stuff or what's going on? Yeah, that water is just, this water is just something I tell ya. Yeah, the game world looks great. It's just the water. Why? Welcome everyone to the stream. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I have a new banner at the top of the stream. Uh, that shows our stream goal. Yeah, if they fix the water, honestly, it'll be so much better. It's just hard to see. Uh, where is the car valet? We are going to run. Like, it's nice and bright world. Uh, the lighting is very happy. And you know, it's great, but... <laughs> the water. Please, bud. Fix the water. Oh. Okay. Oh, I hear it. Nern root, where are you? I hear the Nern root. Some of you are too young to know what I'm talking or referring to. Oh, I saw that. Oh, maybe it was the the pla uh, the paper. That's making that sound. Okay. 
Let's destroy some land. No, I hear it again. It is the plant. Oh, it's right there. Quarter of them oxide sorted. We'll be pulling out the daisies in no time, Buck. I have no idea if there's in-game chat. There's a multiplayer in this game. So it should. Yeah, the car's mirror is like in American Truck Simulator when you put reflections to absolute low. That's how it looks like. And we're really going off-roading here. Why did I decide to go this way? Nope, there are no animals on land. Wouldn't it be cool if we had like a rifle too? And we could do like both hunting and fishing? Where, where am I going? Should have just taken the trail. Where is this trail? Florin, hi, how's it going? Welcome! Oh my god, that Sophia lady is so annoying. You would be better off without her, honestly. Where am I going and why am I making my life miserable here? We're going rock crawling, guys. This proper off-roading here. You're going fishing now. Ooh, all the best with fishing. I hope you got some fat stuff. Thank you. Thank you for uh, joining us, even if it is for a moment. Sophia is the tackle store lady. Wait, I can only buy tackle from the starter town? Are you serious? Ah, oh, there's the trail. Finally, we took such a big shortcut, guys. Proper off-roading here. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice driving, yes. Okay, whoa, whoa, we're taking another shortcut. We're taking another shortcut, don't worry guys. I know what I'm doing. Cigar, uh-oh. Oh look, blue water. Isn't that what you wanted? Blue water, look at that. Oh yeah, there's fast travel, but I need to discover this place first. Before we fast travel. You are right, I forgot about that. I haven't used that feature yet. You also want to catch a big fish. I hope you do. The hot springs here are an esteemed natural resource, first utilized by the ancestors of the Shoshone, further back than the books go. Mountain men exploring the area came back with tall tales of bubbling mud and steaming rivers, leading to high ridicule from their despondent comrades. It seems nature's gems were dismissed as pure delirium, but further expeditions and explorations elucidated the matter better than words ever could. The stories were real, Ooh. and the beautiful bubbling geysers were our park's very own wonder. <laughs> the history of our hot springs as a hot property goes back to 1906 and one Gregoire Lacroix, a French Canadian immigrant who staked a mining French on the banks of this here Canadian, water. yay. What he found himself in was a spot of hot water. And much like that Archimedes fella, soon thunk a something craft. Riverbank hot tubs were the first place his mind went. And soon folk from all No, I don't play Fishing along. Planet. Decades later, mud ain't the only thing heating up. Turns out Mother Nature's bounty ain't half easy to make a few pennies off. Man, this guy talks hey, a lot. What can you do? They treat me nicer than any other parasites I got, and they never forget my birthday. Which is more than I can say for my tapeworm. Yo, this place in real life is so beautiful. Look at that. That's crazy. That is beautiful. You play Fishing Planet on mobile? I had no idea these all these games were on mobile. Okay, let's go ahead. 
and fast travel to that annoying lady. Uh, fast travel. We're gonna get bigger hooks so we can get we can catch bigger fish. I don't think we have enough money to buy a bigger setup. <clears throat> All right, there's the dude. Oh my god, she's gonna be like. Ah, blah, blah, Why make blah, blah. a deal with the devil when there's a hell of a deal right here? What piques your interest? Ten kg strength. This is a stone cold classic called the Brass Monkey. If you're looking for a journeyman spinning rod with a reach that'll pluck the stars out of the sky, this one's for you. Uh, Way of the Hunter. I heard only good things about that game. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't follow these hunting games, so I can never tell which one is Call of the Hunter and which one is... uh, What is it? Way of the Hunter. I thought they were like the same developer. Okay, what baits do we have? We got some of the best porridge going. Piping hot and sprinkled with sunflower seeds to stir even the sleepiest waters. Should we get hot dog? We can use size one hook with that. But I don't know like what fish we... These dough balls with a little grease and oh my god, it. quiet lady. The entire world could give up on you, but these babies won't. Can I show the pigeons all the fish? Yes, ma'am. Uh, journal, rods, profile, handbook. Bronze, tab. The mountain whitefish is a widely distributed. It's so annoying when I when I, when you inspect, you expect to see like a better model of the fish, but you don't. Reserve population. What is what does that mean? Coins, lost figures, notes. These are all the fish. Population page. Oh, that's it. That's all the fish there are in this game. Are you serious right now? A uh, channel catfish, perch, northern pike. Uh oh, that has Jess's name all over it. Uh, cocaine, salmon, sausage. I wish I could hover over this and it would tell me what this means. Uh, golden trout, lake trout. Wow, look at this fish. That's beautiful. And then rainbow. Yikes. Top one reason why RF4 is better than Call of the Wild Angler. No voice acting about random stuff for 10 hours. <laughs> uh, uh, the name of the game is Call of the Wild Angler. It is in the stream title. Okay. You've come to the right place. Look, guys, I want to do this ASAP because my... Somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. Because my... Has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. Because my head's going to hurt if she doesn't shut up. Let's buy this. I think we should buy dough. I've saturated these dough balls with a little grease and boiled them for a minute. Lady, could the you just? The world could give up on you, but these babies won't. Oh no! Hook max one. Perfect. So there are size one. Okay. Finally, an all-American fish Cheese. Day. These dogs are so good. I could probably reel in old clay with them. Lures, lines. Okay, so what I want to check is for number two, can I use the same rod? I cannot. Man. This I got, I can only do this then. Okay, I see. So should we try spin fishing? You guys think that's going to work? Wonder if old clay goes fishing with Zeke. Tried and tested family bonding, let me tell you. Uh, visit the ghost yeah, town. Talking about the dude. Laters. I think spin fishing will work in the rivers. Uh, but let's see if there's any fish flopping around here. And we will uh, cast, uh, add the fish. What do you guys say? 
It is a beautiful morning. Lake trout are a little different. There's like so many species of lake trout, my guess. I don't see any fish jumping though. Oh, all the way over there. But I don't know if I'm even going to be able to catch with the spin. Where was that jump? Uh, you've just equipped your first fish spinning tackle. You've never been spin fishing. Make sure to check instructions. Mirex, hi, long, very long time. I hope you're doing well. Oh, there's a fish coming for it. There's a fish coming. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm not sure when it strikes what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I got her already. Damn. That's a really intense retrieval. <laughs> uh, okay, this doesn't tell me anything. Ha, uh, 0.5 kg pass. Oh, I'm level 3 already. Okay, there were fish right beside that big rock. So we're gonna try that. Um, I'm gonna call it the Wild Angler, but I don't have the money to buy it, so I have to play the Hunter Call of the Wild. Oh, man. I mean, just play Fishing Planet or RF4. Until you do have enough money. Our plan is to support the game in the long term. Uh, we're committed to continually improve the game in a close collaboration with our community. So the devs did reply to something. Okay, finally. Because I've seen no... Oh my god, that is a big fish. Uh-oh. Oh, I screwed it up. I screwed that up. Damn. Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 is better. I enjoyed that game far more than this. Um, so I'm happy the developers, you know, they did say something about the angler that they're going to improve and whatnot. Uh, because I went on Steam, I went on Steam Discussion Board, I saw no sign of developers. I went on their uh, web page and I couldn't find like a community form. Where there might be signs of developers. Okay, I've lowered it to two. Milos, hello, how's it going? And uh, thank you. I've reduced it to two. I got the fish already. What the heck is this? I mean, that's good, but I kind of want a fish fight. Amun, hi, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we got a mountain whitefish, much bigger than the one we got on uh, uh, float fishing. 26 credits. Oh my god, look at that water. What's going on? That is scary. That's like a flood event. That's a river. Look at how strong that water current looks. Let's try again. Maybe there's still fish here. Try a pike. I got spooled two times from them. Ooh. Yeah, these are all small fish because I'm still using. Uh, but for float fishing, we finally have a bigger, bigger hook and a bigger bait. So I can't wait to try that out. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. I hope you're having an amazing, oh, what day is it? An amazing Thursday. Uh, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. There are pikes at the main home. 
Uh, we are in the main town. Oh, there's a fish all the way over there. Oh, no, never mind. That is our... We are retrieving so fast, but the line is coming in so slow, it just doesn't make any sense. Off the small dock at the back. Okay. Uh, I don't see any fish in the water, so I think we should just uh, move somewhere else. Okay. Small dock surrounded by grass. This is the only dock I know of. There might be one on the other side. Thank you, DT Gaming. Oh, I hear it. I don't know where it was, but we got it. Small dock surrounded by grass. Is that the one? I think that's the one. That's the only small dock here. I agree. I think that's the biggest thing I can tell people. Thank you, DT Gaming. I would say wait. Why do I cast so close? I would say... Man, I gotta recast. This is not good. With the fixed water, maybe I'll buy the game you can't see in the night that well. Yeah, the water is a major issue for everyone. Oh my god, that was a big fish right there. Let's try that again. I'm sure we're gonna get that guy. I would say, yeah, give it a little while. Give it a few months for UFS 2 and for this game and see if it meets to your specifications, if it meets to your quality that you're looking for. Until then, we are very fortunate to have two huge free-to-play games. Uh, RF4 and uh, Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet is more casual, RF4 is more challenging. No! There we go. So pump technique here. I don't know if this actually tires the fish out, but we're going to see. 31, 32 meters away. We're going to get spooled. Line snapped. Okay. <clears throat> I still have my lure as I can see. Now, will we get another fish here? <laughs> Quiliver low, yes. That was a big fish. That was a big uh, bass. I hope there's still fish around, though. Okay, so that was finally our very first big fish. And we did get spooled, and I'm happy for that. Uh, because you guys know, in a lot of the games, when you are a low level, you only c get small fish. And there's no way you can... Uh... Yeah, I'm still using my very first starter rod in real. I don't have enough money to get anything bigger. I think I just need to like explore and stuff uh, to get more money. Oh, Coil, don't worry. We are still going on for another hour, so. Oh no, it's becoming nighttime. How do I change the daytime? How do I change it to daytime? I don't want morning. Uh, I mean, wh what am I saying? I don't want nighttime. Do we see any fishy splash? Oh man, thank you. 
Thank you for letting me know I have no choice but to survive through the night. So basically, if I do equip a size 1 hook on my float, we are pretty much screwed. Flashlight? How do I equip flashlight? I'm gonna have to see the controls. I'm not seeing any signs of- Oh, 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 another fish, another fish. That's a good sized fish. Here we go. My. We might get spooled again. Sixteen meters out. There's a small lake right at the beginning of the game. You start off at a small lake, so we can go there. Actually, that's a good idea, Moon. But the issue is we can farm as much as we want. It does not progress us to the game at all. Like, we need money to buy bigger gear. And in order to get money, I think we need to explore. Oh, come on. How did a line snap? Did we get spooled or did I just crank it too hard? You love the game already. Uh, let me see. Key binding. Equipment slot. I quick menu Q. Q. Oh, flashlight is auto. Okay. And you do get money from fish. Um, I I swear, I think it was like one credit you got, you get from the fish. Unless it's 24 credit per fish, then that is good. I can deal with that. Well, if you don't have any money to buy the game, honestly, Fishing Planet is very similar to this until you, you know, do gain enough money. Okay, let me quickly reel this in. I think the lake Amun is talking about is the starter lake. Or pond, rather. Come on, dude, hurry up. Near the lilies. I think this is, this is what he's talking about. Cast bloodworm on float, okay. Float. Size 1. <laughs> bloodworm. Oh, I can't use bloodworm. Okay, so let's use size 10 then. Perfect. Confirm. Uh, buy the lilies. Uh-oh. Where are the lilies at? Money is so easy here, you'll get all the stuff in no time and XP does nothing. Okay. Because uh, I heard, oh, okay, that original bridge, right? Because I heard uh, people say that within six hours, you will catch all the diamond fish. You know what? Damn. I really wanted to stream Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 a while later, but I think I'm going to go RF4. Because I really, really, really want to go to Amber and catch a trophy or two. Uh, where is the mission board? Oh my god, I'm so far off. I gotta go that way. Thank you, DT, for walking me through all these things here. That's a freaky looking bear. Uh, I am in, uh, whose chat am I in? Decoder and Big? 2615111. I'm still in their chat. I don't know if I was there before. 
when you're around. Uh, which map challenge? Do I take all of them? All right, so which challenge should I do? Where are these challenges? Mission, mission. But you said uh, do the lilies, right? So like off this bridge, we can start there. Where is our car? Okay, what, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do the quest first or do you want me to go on the bridge first? Catfish hair. Where is this river they talk about? Uh, journal. Tutorial, the golden tour. The heck? Where is this? Like, why isn't this showing on my map? There's one river going down. Is this it? I think this is the spot. No, that is not the spot. It meanders a little bit before. Yeah, that is the meander. Wrong board. Middle. Oh. Catch a silver rank smallmouth bass at the photo location. Find the photo location. Okay, challenge number one. Where the heck is this thing? Man, you're asking me to do too much. Where is this place? Fishing challenge. Can you catch a fish? Catch silver rank perch. Go to Golden Ridge Lakes Bridge. Wait, hold on. I gotta see that photo again. Diamond Peak Challenge 1. Yay! There we go! That's easy when they show it on the map. I gotta be spoon fed, y'all. Catch a silver rank perch. No, it's all good. All right, now we wait. Hopefully there's fish here. Now, if you walk in the water, you will respawn. the water is too deep can he get snagged in this game I don't think so four hundred eighty seven credits I don't think that's enough but we can check here fishy 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 but the thing is, like, how big do the fish get in this game? Like, what's, what are, like, the biggest fish sizes? Like, 20 kg? 10 kg? I wish we could reset the cast. Like, in UFS 2.
50 centimeters. There we go. Shift real fast. Yes. Okay. I'll do that next time. Thank you. Uh, lake trout is the biggest fish in the game. Because, like, there's no sturgeons or anything. So, like, if I do end up getting, you know, mid-tier gear, like, I've basically conquered the game. Because fish don't get too big. That's how I feel. Alright, once we start hearing the doorbell, that's when we get ready. Wow, okay, how big do the lake trouts get? It's okay, I don't mind spoilers. <laughs> uh, the fish is actually based on real world species. I'm sure, because this is based on like a real world uh, location and stuff. Uh, so it makes sense. Whatever fish they have here. Thirty kg. Okay, okay, that's a hefty lake trout. Hot damn! Just cut the line. Think there is no backlash on doing that. Ah, oh, you don't lose anything if you cut the line. If that is true, that is so funny. <laughs> if that is true, that is just too funny. No, am I supposed to fish from the bridge? Literally, or like, is it fine here? It says catch a silver rank, yellow perch, a diamond. <gasps> what do I have uh, as my bait? Uh, I have bloodworm. Okay, you did say bloodworm. Oh, I see, I see, uh, a splash, sort of. In the middle, huh? <clears throat> Alright, if we don't get a buy, we will move to the middle. Matrix! Hi, how's it going? Guys, I'm gonna try and do another stream after this. Um... In about two hours, maybe. I'm gonna stream for another hour. And it'll probably be RF4. Yeah, this spot's working. We're reeling the fish in. Now, am I gonna be pulling this in the air? Oh, that's a bronze. Ooh. 10 XP, 10 XP, but it didn't say how much money I got. Uh, 26 credits. That is actually not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, 26 credits, I can deal with that. We need a silver. The angler has good graphics, but the gameplay is kind of bad. Um, the water reflection is also bad. I think the water reflection is the main... Thing a lot of people have issues with and a lot of people here on stream have said that hey if they fix uh, the water I will buy the game and you know what look at that the shadows don't look bad right now the water actually looks fine until you start like um, looking closely you know the pillars on the top left of the screen you see that shadow that's bad but everything else right now seems okay Oh, 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 here we go. <laughs> you bought the Cali, bro. Nice. Hey, we got a silver perch. Yes. Yes. We got 26 credits for catching the fish. Uh, talk to the shopkeeper. Oh, no. 
I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> Please, no. All right, we, we got to talk to her, guys. I came here in the middle of nowhere to be away from people and... A uh, customer? A real life? If I didn't have a shop to run, I'd go down to catch that yellow perch again myself. Uh, reputation is gained by completing shopkeeper missions and warden favors. Uh, what did I get from that? What'll it be? So I have ten. Uh, this. Somewhere, but this... anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow's fin. So like, what do I do with these green stars? All right. So this is two kg. This is six kg. I think we should. Oh my God! Sh shut up, lady. Use, still incredible bang for your buck, but now a little better than the rest. See, this is max line strength four kg. That's so much better than two kg. But we don't have enough hey, money. Three hundred. Oh my Feel God! The that only a Romulus has. That's military grade, all the way from a battlefield to a river near you. This lady needs to shut up. Okay. Uh, Matrix, you gotta, like, do the maths here, okay? I have 539. I buy this 150 kg rod. Then I buy this 150 kg reel. The tyro is an then I buy this 100 kg, uh, credit line, problem. sorry. It's a real premium reel at a budget price. I know, she just doesn't shut up. Like, I'm trying to think here, you know, and talk to you guys. So, 300. 450. 500. I think we can do it. 300. Picture the scene. A lone sniper perched on a mountain range, meticulously knocking back their perfectly balanced... Uh oh, room. what happened? I squint down the scope and... Poof, that's fishing with the marksman. Bye, real. Hey, what happened? The Othello is a throwback that feels like a step forward. Boasting a high-density carbon strain body that operates smoothly in every phase of fishing. 14? How did... What? What? The Vizier combines old-school sensibility and style with all the modern technological advancements you've come to expect from another Perkinkin's future class. How the hell did I buy this? I... I didn't even click on it. Oh my god. Ah. Was I not looking? The stupid lady screwed me over. Okay. Oh, man. I'm like, what did I do? Why can't I... Uh-oh. Yes, uh-oh is right. Yikes. Okay, lady, it's all your fault. So line one, let's just put the strongest one and then use all the crappy gear with it. Well, the issue is like when I go to sell it back, it's only worth 262 credits, which is garbage. Right? Like it's, it's a 520. Yo, this lady. Smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna use this. We don't have a choice. That lady, honestly, oh my god, I just want to. Okay? I'll stab you with the rod. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the bridge. I kind of like that spot. We were catching fish there. You guys said making money is really easy in this game, so I guess you know what? It's okay. <laughs> I've had enough of that lady. <laughs> like I'm trying to talk and I'm trying to just think for a moment and they've set her loop to like five seconds. Five seconds she shut up shuts up and then for the next twenty seconds she talks. But But like uh what we can do is we can just go here. Audio dialogue volume, we can do like 31. So, Mr. Drift. 
All right, let's let's try this new rod out. Ooh, oh, whoops, no. Uh, we gotta increase the depth here to fifty. Cast too slow. What do you mean? There we go. Wow, look at how far we cast it now. Ew. Why did you make me look at the water again? <laughs> 12 kg rod, 1 kg reel, yes. Wait. It just occurred to me, guys. What if... You can't even break any equipment. You cannot even lose any equipment. Because I was like, hey, listen. What if, like, I max drag this, we get a fish, and I snap my reel? But you can't. Uh, because there is no option to, like, get free reel and lines and stuff in case you're out of money. So, literally, I can just be an idiot and snap everything, and it will never break. Because in Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, you can break stuff, but they do have, you know, just like RF4, free reel and rod and stuff, because that's just basic. Interesting. That is very casual. Hard <laughs> for baby. I mean, is it worth the money? Absolutely not. I think after one hour, 17 minutes. <laughs> it's pretty darn clear. Now, will it improve in the future? Yes. Uh, will uh, the fish fighting mechanism remain the same or will they make it better? Uh, it will remain the same. Uh, this is supposed to be a casual game aimed at a large audience that are not, you know, into fishing games. So I don't expect the fishing aspect, the heart of it to change, unfortunately. So if you are happy with Fishing Planet and its fish fighting mechanism, which does not exist, by the way, it does not have a fish fighting mechanism, um, then you will love this game because this game's the same. I think I should recast. You need to stay 100 years for one fish that weighs one gram. Yikes. Should we cut the line? I really want to cut the line. Line cut. But like, what if it reduces our... How much do we have on our line? Oh, there isn't even, like, how many meters of line there is. The heck? Alright, I'm cutting my line every time now. If we don't get a fish. If I see any splashes, I'll cast there. Something is floating on the water. Yes, plants. Not fish plants I saw something over there full cast okay no <laughs> I love it. You just cut the line and you recast and that's it. 31 meters away. Oh, there it is. Uh, a fish splash. So hopefully something is going for our bait. Once we have a better reel and line, we can uh, <clears throat> put a size 1 hook. Welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you're enjoying <laughs> watching the <this> stream. <laughs> if you are a like, if you haven't already subscribed, more fishing game coverages and streams.
That's a big beluga. Come on, I saw... I saw this splishy splash. If we don't get a bite here, guys, in the next minute or two, I am going to move to the starter pond and see if we can uh, farm the fishies there that Amun mentioned. See, I see fish bite, fish waves over there, over there. Oh, right by here. No, that's our line. And over here. Sturgeons are prehistoric fish. Just like uh, alligators, I believe. And a few other things. Alright, just cut the line. Uh, splishy splash. There's all the way up there that's too far. I need something close. Alright, we're gonna go to this pond here. We're gonna awesome power this thing. Guys, calm down. I think it's where that tower is. Yep. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, there it is. All right, screw this. This is... Yes, it is a real location in US, I believe. All right, so this water here should apparently have active fishies. Because this is where you start the game. You're driving like how I did an hour ago. <laughs> Please, see, <laughs> drive safely. <laughs> oh man, how is it going? I hope you had a good, good day, good work day. I will be. I'm trying. Hopefully, I'll stream again uh, later today, and it'll be pretty late for you, Duncan. should have some lunch yeah I'm gonna have lunch in about like 45 minutes 43 minutes oh look at the little perch hey 10 reputation huzzah uh, 1% very nice all right if we keep catching fish here we're gonna make some good money how are we looking now? 14. Wait, did we not get any money for that fish? <gasps> oh no. If we don't get money for fish at this pond, then that sucks. And we're going to have to move.
Yeah, this game and RF4 are very, very different games. This is very casual. This is closer to Fishing Planet. Oh my god, did you guys see that? That was a huge pike or something that jumped out of the water. Did I get any more fish? Uh, yeah. I got a perch. And now I cast it again. But I don't think I got any money. Credits. So, I'm... Wondering if you can get money at this pond or not. So, I'm just waiting to get another fish. Why are the fish so small? I don't know, because I'm using small setup, perhaps? That point five was very small in size, I don't know. I haven't really caught much fish in real life, so I can't tell. Uh, can we... put a size 1 hook and see if we can get anything here? Hard dog, hard dog. There's a fish all the way there, pike. Do you think RF4 is more like a simulator? Uh, yeah. RF4 is the most realistic and closest fishing game to a simulator than anything. Far more. Angler is very casual. <laughs> Fish is small because they're a nice personality. <laughs> 100 gram fish is bigger in real life? I don't know. Okay. I mean. I guess it's a good thing I don't really know smaller fish. So it doesn't like bother me as much. I'm using a size 1 hook and a hot dog. So if there is a pike around... Maybe I'll bite. Okay. Man, I don't think we're gonna get anything here. Hey, Buckaroo, down on the range if you need me. What? Oh, this guy moves during throughout the day. Why? He has different missions. Let's cut the line. Uh, let's, uh, why is my flashlight on yet? Let's, uh, I don't know, let's cast over there. I don't see any fish splashing. So if we don't get an, a fish in another, you know, like, one minute, uh, we will just start discovering stuff so we can make some good money. We can go to this spa here. Undiscovered, whatever it is. We are almost level 5. What does that mean? No idea. Okay, okay, okay. What the heck? Why did my line get slack all of a sudden? Uh, the Angler is the only game where they decided to do a fishing game. And they could have popularized fishing games uh, if they just didn't do such a bad job for, uh, you know, with this game. But Ultimate Fishing Simulator, you know, they have uh, UFS 1 and now they release UFS 2. They were just on a regular schedule. So that's nothing new. 
Uh, besides that, we only have Aura 4 and Fishing Planet. And one more game, and that's pretty much it. Wow, two months. Alright, I don't think we're catching anything here. Let's cut the line. You know, maybe this is too big. Maybe we should just use size one. Let's just go and explore. I'm going to go back to town because our car is kind of stuck. Evening. In the mood for a bargain? Come back soon. All right, which way are we facing? We are facing the wrong way. We got to go left. So this way, I believe. No, we got to. Oh, we got to go over the bridge. OK, perfect. I know. All right, let's find this undiscovered location. Uh oh. Yeah, there is no bottom fishing in this game. That is so disappointing. But then again, it, there's only 12 species of fish, so. Is there any fish here? Oh god. Keep your eyes on the road. Any fish? Any splash? A very trustworthy driver. Yeah, the window this looks terrible. I think we're supposed to go this way, right? Yeah. Maybe... Look, we haven't gotten a single patch for this game, so let's just wait. Hey. I see a plant. What did we find? A lookout tower. Oh, it's right there. Wow, how did I not see this? We gotta go up this tower. How is my parking? A little bit off. It's so annoying to get in and out of these vehicles because you got to hold the E button. And that's just super annoying. All right, let's go up here. No flashlight, no nothing. Late All right. American trappers rendered the French name in English as Golden Ridge Reserve. I quite like the old moniker, but hey, the new one's not too shabby. It just does a circle and then goes out. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Why did my Jeep just turn on by itself? Should I be concerned? Is someone out here? Uh-oh, I don't feel safe. All right. Come on, let me off. Looking kind of like old Berg. That is funny. Uh, ooh. Sawmill? Sure, let's go there. Oh my god, why is this so loud? Oh no. 
Hold on, let me take this in for a dip in the pool. Yeah, there we go. The engine sound is gone. All we hear are is the tire. <laughs> You're in the car. So basically, if you don't like the sound of vehicles, just drive them into the water. It's the best thing I found in this game. And cutting the line. I don't know why it came on. Just haunted. And I heard that plant again. Nern root. Here I come. There it is. <laughs> Try on your Jeep, easy solution. It just turns on on its own sometimes. Uh, it's happened to me. This is the second time it's happened to me. Man, the window just looks terrible. Ah, no. No. <laughs> what? Oh my god, why? Why is this so annoying? Okay, there we go. Okay, crashed for you. Please don't crash. They say this park is haunted. And well, the only baloney I care to deal with is in a sandwich, if you know what I'm saying. However, if we're talking about the ghosts the logging industry left behind, I'd have to agree. There's the ghosts of men and women who lob down sweet mother nature's vital vitality. All right, let's look for fish splashing. The ghosts of fur, juniper, and pine took from us far, far too soon. Heck, the building itself is a ghost. Once worn with its own baleful life. Oh, there. And look at it now. Just an eerie shell. Lights still not on. Although I'll have to ask you to stay out of there for safety reasons. Should probably remove this bit from the tape later on if I figure out how. Uh, I hope this works. Size one hook. Alright, let's see. Let's see what the size one hook does. Can we even get a fish on dough? There's a tower all the way up here. You see that? On the top middle right of the screen, you see sort of like a tower. I don't want to move the rod, so I can't show you. But I can see a tower and like a ladder going down the stairs. No carp? No. Yeah, I think like DT Gaming is saying, in order to get carps, sturgeons, and other stuff, we need real US locations that have those fish. Uh, because this park is a real park and these fish, I guess, are the fish that are in the park, in the waters. So they cannot just throw random fish in here. Oh. Why is there slack on the line? Is there a fish going for it? I did see fish splashing. Because when you start the game, it tells you. Um, select, you know, this golden pine ridge map. So I'm assuming the next map is going to be a DLC and that's going to have it. Okay, I mean, it's a pond, so I don't see why, but hey, there might be a current. Yeah, 100%. This is DLC nation up in here. But they got to fix the game first.
Why do we not have an option to turn on the flashlight? Just doesn't make sense to me. I don't think we're gonna catch anything, so I'm gonna what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do size ten, and I'm just gonna use bloodworm. Start hitting keys. <laughs> hey, Hugo, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Look at that. We have two new subs on stream. 50 sub is the goal. We have 28 days left. I have to pay for respect. <laughs> L, light, P is also used for light. T, also used for light. Nothing. So, um, in the key bindings, there is no option for uh, flashlight. Okay, I did see a fish splash here, and uh, we haven't gotten anything, so maybe we should move. I'm not seeing a fish splash anywhere else. It has to come, whether it is 20 minutes, one hour. One minute. Ugh. It came out by itself. Probably. I think we just need to wait a bit longer. Jump, crouch, run, interact, map, handbook, journal, inventory. Quick menu does not even work. Cast, strike, release, drag, accelerate. It's going to be a long night. Yeah, I can already see how long just the sunset is. See, when I hold Q, nothing happens. Let's just cut the line. Let's put the rod away. And now, uh, now we can, uh, now we can do fast. Cool. Okay. I like that. I think we should just move. Uh, let's keep going up, maybe. I really want to catch a fish. Okay. It's, shouldn't be this hard. I'm looking for fish splashing. Uh, yeah, I know. When I got in earlier, it turned on. But now it's not on. I don't think there's fish here, even though this looks like prime bass territory. There's just nothing here, so we're gonna have to move a little bit. See, they're not on. Or they might be, but they're very faint. Yeah, it's light is on by the looks of it. Damn it. Uh, there's something unknown close by. On the trail. Ooh. Ooh. So at night time, how the heck am I going to see fish splashing? Do we see anything? There's no fish around. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's keep going. Oh yeah, look at that. The light is on. Now we can see. Oh, I hear a bear or something scary. Uh, let's go to the right. You're supposed to walk. Oh, oh, I heard a plant. My light isn't on yet. 
Oh god. Oh, there's the watchtower. Perfect. <laughs> You're supposed to walk, but man, it's gonna take so long to walk up there. Yeah, it shows a person walking too. Screw that. We are bound by no rules. We make our own. Uh-oh. Go, Jeep, go! Yes! Jeep, go! Go, Jeep, go! Damn! Jeep's got it! Buckaroo. All I did was take a photo. I didn't get rid of it. Alright, 30 more credits. I feel like this is the only way we're gonna make money. Because we're not catching any fish. <laughs> Alright, are you ready for a cinematic that where the camera just goes in a circle once and then it goes a little bit further out? itself began at least 11,000 years ago when the ancestors of the contemporary Shoshone began to hunt and fish in the region. There's our circle and that's showing the rest. Which you'll see dotted around the park was a key part of their culture. See? The jeep just turns on every time you serve it. It's like, I'm ready to go! Let's go! Oh, this is a river. Let's try river fishing. Before we take care of this tree here. I'm so happy when I started the stream as morning. Because damn. How much money do we have? 273 bucks. Alright. Let's do fishing guys. Seriously. Oh no. Is it going to be stupid loud again? Oh my god. Lumberjack Dynasty. Oh, finally. Okay, there we go. Wow. So after you visit a watchtower, your jeep turns on by itself and it just wants to blow your ears out. So when you drive, the jeep's lights are on, but right now my lights aren't on. L, K, J, T, U, I. Maybe I need to buy a flashlight. Damn. It's a possibility, because I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fish. What kind of advanced fishing is this? I can't see anything. Is this even a river? Like, I see no current. Oh, wow. Look at that waterfall. Oh, my God. This is some triple A game stuff here, guys. This is where all the budget went. Oh, my God. We got to look at this. How do we get to this? Wow. Guys, are you looking at this? This is just... <laughs> Wow, look at this. This is some high quality stuff. Hold the L button. Does nothing. Hold the F button. Does nothing. Hold the T. No. Look in the far back. Oh. So, like, will this... That was so far away. Alright, so my float is here. Is it gonna, like, float away or is it gonna stay here? 
Wait, it's gonna stay here, and there's a fish to our right. Hopefully that fish comes for us. Oh, 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 that's a big fish. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, finally. Okay, it's a river. We can't get spooled here, right? That's a big fish. That rock's gonna break and broke your line. No, I did not upgrade the reel. I did not have the money. So as long as we keep pumping, it's gonna tire the fish out eventually. Uh, this friction break is the max I can go with or else it gets too close. Do rocks really break the line? Like, are you serious? Are you kidding around? Because I feel like that's not true. <laughs> Good thing is, it's the river and it cannot spool us. The bad thing is, I don't know how many minutes I'm going to be here fighting this guy. In the dark without a flashlight. How many pumps does it take to reel in a trout? I'm holding the shift key. I wonder if that's making us do this faster. Wait, the fish don't get tired? Are you serious? Is it not in the description that it, I thought in the tutorial it said pumping tires out the fish. Oh, there it goes. Now it's going to run 18 meters. <laughs> So they're basically lying. Okay, season jets. If the fish doesn't tire out, then it's a straight up lie. Because if I increase the friction uh, or the drag, it, uh, it maxes out. So they are on drug, yes. We're going to see what happens here. I'm going to keep going. Hmm. 23 meters. Come on. Twenty. 21, 22 almost. Come on, fish, you give it up. It's gonna be my biggest fish. I wonder, the bigger the fish, the more money we get. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna have to Google it. I, I really think we need to buy a flashlight. I don't know, I'm going to set fish don't get tired. Um, in the tutorial it said pumps, the fish do get tired. So if, you know, after five minutes this fish doesn't get tired and it just keeps going, that means maybe there isn't really. 
Oh, you checked? Damn. Oh man, now the fish is really running because it's facing downriver. Uh, we're gonna get spooled here. And the funny thing is we're using like a size 12 hook or whatever. It's like a tiny hook. It's not even a size 1. Oh, uh, there's salmon here. And it's really sad. We can't even walk. Yeah, German guys said they don't get tired. Yeah, I mean, we haven't made a dent in this fish. It keeps running. And, like, I've been constantly pumping this whole time. And I see no difference. It's not slowing down. I cannot increase my friction break by 5%. So... Yeah, we need definitely. 31 meters, we're getting spooled here. I don't even know how much line we have on the spool. Nine meters. There's a fish splashing right in front of us. So if my gear is too weak and I get a big fish. And if there is no way for it to get spooled like here in the river, there's like it'll make sure that I don't catch the fish, even if I fight it for a half hour. Even in Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, there's a fish fighting mechanism and fish do get tired. So... Yeah, like it maxes out my drag just like it was in the beginning. So, I don't know. Let's see how much longer I fight this thing for. Uh, no, you did not miss anything. I might need to cut the line for this stupid fish, though. It's too big for our setup. Counter the fish movement? How? Like, what is it? It's S and D or something? So I'm, pr I'm holding the S key. Like, it's doing nothing. Yeah, but that setup, I can't poop. There, I'll do it like this. Not sure what I'm doing, but... I don't even know where the hell the fish is going. That's the issue. Like, it's stuck on the shore there. Yeah, I gotta go this way. Like, I'm not gaining any, any line here. Flying Fridge, hey, how's it going? Long time. 32 meters, he's slowly gaining on us. I think this is a waste of time, guys. Look, I increased it to 25. And look how close it is to... 
maxing out now. So I increase from 20 to 25 and uh I'm raising the rod when I drop the rod I reel in. I'm not reeling in when I pick up the rod. So let's see if that makes a difference. Nope. It's so random, it just, when it decides to gain a meter to a distance, it gains. Alright, you know what, screw this. Screw this. It's not getting tired, guys. This is just bull. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. We have 273 buckaroonies, which means we should be able to buy gear. Uh, buy a reel. <laughs> Water looks like tar. Man, what a... What a heartbreaker. If this was UFS2 or RF4, you know, eventually we would have been reeling the fish in. Hey, our light has come on. We had to come back to town in order for it to work. Wow. I swear to girl. Beautiful day we're having. Customization. Absolutely nothing. What? No. Equipment, reels. 3kg reel. You're buying EFS2? Finally! Quiet. Finally, I'm happy to hear that. I'm having fun with that. Okay. 3kg reel go. Line we are... <laughs> uh, we gotta save up some money for, for a better line here. Not again, yes. I'm not returning no trail guide. Alright. Uh, guys. She needs to... <laughs> she needs to sleep with the fishies. No, it's too dark. No, 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 no. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try here one more time, okay? We better get a fish. You know, honestly, like... I kind of want to keep streaming this until we get better gear and catch a bigger fish. Oh, right here. Oh my god, that's so far. Let's bring it in closer. Right here. Um, I think I saw a fish. Yeah, there it is. It's splishy splashing around. Where is the fish? Is it going towards... Welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the stream. I hope you're enjoying your uh, Thursday. Uh, if you are, please don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome. Join the family. I did see a fish. We should be getting a bite soon. I don't think the light works with fishing at all. Or just walking around. Uh, once we teleported to town, our flashlight did turn on. Um, we have to see if... Once I, you know, stop fishing and walk around, if our flashlight is still on. Come on, there are, there's fish splashing to the right of it, in front of it. Something has to be here. <laughs> if I strip all over the keys, it's all good. Hmm. 
Where is our float? It just disappeared. Oh, there it is again. See, there's fish everywhere. They're not coming here. I might need to cast further then. Because there's nothing traveling here. Uh, no, my flashlight is on. It just doesn't shine on the water. Which is sort of like RF4. Oh my god, are you serious? I was fishing right here where the stupid fish jumped. Uh, let's increase the depth. I'm using bread. I guess worm is the only good thing here. Worm, okay. All right, click to short cast. Thank you, yes. All right, I threw it right by that pillar where the other fish are. Okay, so let's see if this works. <gasps> ooh, ooh, we're getting something here. Yes, doorbell ringing. Oh, there we go. Oh. What? How am I being pushed at 10%? What? What just happened, guys? 5% friction break now? At 10% it maxes out. And this is like a half a gram perch, isn't it? I mean, look, all everything is original except for the line and reel. Right? So how, like, it shouldn't matter. We already had a weak line. Yeah, but like for half a gram fish, it shouldn't be even doing this. We had a far weaker setup to this and we were catching, you know, perch and stuff with ease. And honestly, if there's no... F uh, if fish don't get tired out, then I'm never going to be able to reel this guy in. Yeah, I'm not getting this guy. <laughs> See, we have our original line, 0.5 kg. I got it. Oh. 12 kg strength. 3 kg reel, 0.5 kg line. Nick, hi, how's it going? Right, like on this 0.5 kg line, we were catching all different fish with not much trouble. And now all of a sudden you're telling me this is not going to work? Really? How much money do we have? 23, I can't even buy a new line. I think the only thing we can do is just explore quickly, get a little bit of money and then buy a line and then we will have a proper setup. So let's go ahead and can we fast travel somewhere? Trailhead. Uh, where are other car spawns? Hmm. 
Nah, it is not worth the buy. Not right now. But why did our line go to 0.5 kg? Was it... Like, was our line better before? How is it 0.5? Uh, let's go back to the store and see. XL4, well, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I will hopefully see you soon. Yeah, it's only 500 grams. I thought we always had this 500 gram line. Maybe cutting the line, it has reduced its strength. Hello there. It's never so maybe I shouldn't do it. You miss it. Your mamo have come here to bargain. So let's go lines. Yeah, this is 0.5 kg, guys. This is the line I've been using this whole time. Uh, so I guess having a stronger rod and reel with a weaker line just throws off everything. Monofilament 0.5 braided. Loro carbon. Yeah. So. No, I have no other line that I can sell. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow's fin. I'm not selling the rod. I'm not selling the reel, and there's nothing else I have. The Vizier combines old school sensibility and style with all the modern technological equipment. Wait, you didn't buy anything. Shut up. <clears throat> yep, that's what we got to do. We will quickly discover a place so we can uh, get some quick credits. Credits. Welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, where are we right now? Uh oh. I'm lost. I think we're here, right? Yeah, okay. So let's turn around and go right here. Hello? Set waypoint. a kilometer away. Uh oh. <laughs> Where, ah! Where's the trail? You can go to the nearest yellow point. Ah, uh, no, you can just track it. Let's let's get this undiscovered location first. Mm. Alright, there's the trail. I really want to dunk this in the water so we don't have to hear listen to the engine again. Oh my god, I was reading the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to the nearest place. Oh, okay, what? What? I discovered a vista. Cool. I just discovered a vista. Can I like actually look? Is there like something special here? It's non interactable. Interactable. What is it? 54? I forgot. I think it's like 50 for a new line. Uh, but let's just discover a location so we can get much better. Lots of mullets. This instance such as fish spooking mechanism, the trailer. That never happened in real life. Wow, we are up to 26 viewers. Welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, lots of video game coverages, lots of streams that I do. I cannot even hear myself talk because this car is so loud. If my volume or the uh, in-game volume... Yeah. Hundred and sixty-five credits. We have so much money all of a sudden. Uh, that we can actually buy good lines. So let me discover the spot, get a little bit more. Oh, everyone's enjoying. Thank you, I'm so glad. Drew4, hi, how's it going? Uh, Fishing Planet has been the best simulator I've played so far. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying uh, Fishing uh, Fishing Planet. Uh, 
just so you know fishing planet is more very much arcadey uh the top simulator on the market right now fishing game wise is uh russian fishing 4. wow those are some creepy sounds uh russian fishing 4 no other game can come close to it it is just insane at how good it is in terms of fish fighting mechanism, tiring them out, how to fight a fish, all of that stuff. It's very intense and very detailed. I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost. There we go. All right, perfect. So is this the, oh no, let's, ooh, let's go trail trailing is there something there pick up these letters so i've never read these letters handbook journal oh no our car turned on again god damn it shopkeeper game guide handbook notes inspect and read more my name is Humphrey J. And if you're reading this, I'm likely dead. Oh no, so grim. Uh, or I might be alive. Oh, happy. Or I might, or I am in love with the Bigfoot. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, there I said it. I'm only in love with Bigfoot. Okay, concerning. I first saw Bigfoot just a few meager months ago and what I felt was electrifying. I never thought someone like me could experience love at first sight. And it took me back to when I first tried to scale the pain fence to gaze upon the farmer's cows on that balmy summer afternoon. What is going on here? I'm concerned. I thought love was something you only read about in Tracker's Digest, but it is real, it is wonderful, and it is mine. Provided I find the Bigfoot, I will find the Bigfoot even if it kills me. Wish me luck, lovers everywhere. I am quietly gonna back away here, okay? Oh my god, Native History Lesson 2, okay. Uh, the Shushon, I report families come to Golden Ridge to gather obsidian, 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 uh, which they used uh, to field dress up bison. That is so cool. Dress up bisons. I've never seen this. Okay, cool. Oh God, I, I need to shut this up. Maybe if we respawn. Perfect. Okay, that reset it. Uh, let's find this tower. Let's do that loop-de-loop -loop cinematic. See how it goes. Wow. Welcome, everyone. So many people. Let's have a look. So when you discover the place, you get a little bit of money. Oh. Ooh. There's a letter here. Yes, there is. What is this? That's a ring? That's a coin. Ta Taylor's tracker coin, I think. Obsidian was used to make cutting tools, weapons, and especially arrowheads. Those arrowheads have been found as far as the Mississippi, which means the locals were likely trading the precious stone to other tribes. You know, this, like, when it does the fly thing it looks like far cry and i wish like far cry would we would have like helicopters and hey, stuff i don't care See you there. okay let's quickly go home uh buy uh buy a better line and guys then we can catch big fish yes yes thank you for all the likes guys thank you so much <laughs> i wasn't trying to scare Alright, this this chatty lady. Neither do I. What'll it be? What can I get ya? Line. Man, I want braided line. Uh, but we are not high enough level for that. Okay. So we can uh, buy a seven kg line. Hot damn. Uh what reel do we have? We have like a three kg reel. That feels like a step forward. I'm gonna buy seven kg line because our rod is also seven kg. E line. Wait, what? 
No. Max strength 2.5 kg. Ah, why do I find this out after I do this? Line capacity 75 meters. Damn it. I'm going to have to sell it, guys. Even if it is a loss, I don't care. I have to. I just... The Vizier combines old school sensibility and style with all the modern technological advancements you've come to expect. So we can only buy a 2.5 kg line. Line... 1.5. Oh my god. Seriously, guys. <laughs> Why? What kind of stupidness is this? It looks so cartoony that the lines are just such different colors and they all look the same. It's just so poorly done. Man. Okay. We need to catch one more fish and we will have enough money for a better line. Oh, right, but we can't even use this setup because our setup is stupid. <gasps> no. Gotta explore again. All right, you know what? Let's go back to the spot we discovered with the fast travel. Ah, uh, poop. Where did we go, guys? Was it right here? No, it wasn't here. Where the heck are these spots? They have like a vehicle spawn and for some reason I can't find them anymore. Yes, you gain money by catching fish, but right now, I only have a 0.5 kg line and that's screwing my setup up. I can use the weaker setup. Where am I? I'm right in town. Guys, didn't I just discover a spot with a vehicle spawn? Like, where did it go? It just disappeared. She just won't shut up, so I'm just going to move further away. I thought we went... Uh, this is undiscovered. How? We're gonna use... the 1 kg setup. That was not a 1kg line, bro. That was our new, very expensive line that we bought. Uh, the original equipment we have, we cannot sell it. Uh, it does not even appear. Okay, so I've downgraded our reel. So hopefully it's more balanced now. All right, hopefully there's fish here. We just need one fish. And then we will have enough money. Oh, some fish is fishy splashing. <laughs> it's perfect for me. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a fish. There's a fish. It looks kind of big. We might be in trouble. Yeah, doorbell, doorbell. Yes, yeah, something is very wrong. Our... I don't know what happened. This game is bugged. But we could easily catch... fish before. Now we're struggling.
Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to ca get this one in if it's that big. <laughs> I went to the tutorial pond earlier and... Uh, we only got one fish the whole time. I think nighttime bigger fish come out for uh, the blood worm. No, you cannot walk in this game uh, when you're fishing. And the rod stop. Wait, the rod doesn't bend? I thought the rod bends. Is it working? Uh, no. So... See, I put our uh, 1 kg reel. We have our 0.5 kg line. And this is what we were using before to catch fish. So for some reason, their size have increased. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's a lamp. Let's try one more time here. Hopefully it's something small. Okay, let's, let's keep it here. Hopefully we see a fish and it's a small one. Oh, there's this fish right here. Oh man, it's a big fish too. If that big fish goes for it, we're going to be screwed again. What? Oh, there's a fish that jumped. So, honestly, if you're if you're going to get this game, explore, make a lot of money, and then buy a decent setup like a 2.5, 3, maybe even a 4 kg setup. And then go fishing, because fishing right off the bat, uh, yeah. Sticking to UFS 1, even UFS 2 is on sale. And uh, you get a discount if you already have UFS 1, so... Let's cast over there. Because I saw a fish jump over there. Oh, you got UFS too? Nice. I did, yeah, we did do spin fishing in this game and we did get fish. But wow, were they very slow. You might as well just do float fishing and wait for the fish to come to you rather than when you're reeling it in, you see a fish fall and you're like, okay, is this fish even going to be able to bite? the lure because it's swimming so slowly. I cannot see my float. I don't know where it is. Oh boy. Our float is not floating. You had one job float. No, it's all good. Yeah, we can try. Oh, 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 we're getting some. Yeah. There we go. Finally, a small fish. 
Finally. It's a juvenile mountain whitefish. We got so many credits. Wow. Wow. What's going on? What? Hold on. No, it's still 96 credits. What the hell is this garbage? What is going on? We were supposed to make money, but we didn't make anything. Guys, aren't you supposed to get money for every fish you catch? I didn't catch anything. What kind of garbage is this? Man, even UFS2 isn't this bad. Or buggy. So, honestly, the only thing we can do is just quickly explore, find a stupid location so we can buy the right line. Even after selling that such expensive line, we did not get enough money. Yeah. Alright, where, which way are we facing? This way? What's close by? I've discovered all of these places. Yeah, what the heck, it bugged out. Because we did discover that location. And I did get stuck exactly on this tree, I feel like. <laughs> Noor, hey, how's it going? Brampton has shaped me into this. Oh, man. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, only 12 species of fish. Because they said, hey, this is a real life place, so we're only gonna have the 12 species of fish that live here. Man, I wish it was a third person view. Okay, we're almost there. Wow, look at this place. It's rocky. With a waterfall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at my speed. How many miles per hour was I going there? Well, there's proper off-roading here. Uh-oh. This is not gonna work. Maybe? No, this looks too deep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, at least now we don't have to listen to that. Okay, well, the engine is still running. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of species in Wyoming, but in this specific park that this is based off only has 12 species. Uh-oh. You can do it. You can do it. No. It. Ah. Go. It. Use that four wheel drive. Okay, how do I get there? Why am I struggling here? 
Uh, stop tracking. No, no. I said remove waypoint. There we go. Track this. Hey, there's the car. What kind of garbage is this? I was looking for that the whole time and it wasn't showing. That is not cool. It doesn't exist? Cool. Okay. Yeah, so they definitely could have added more fish if uh, this isn't a true place then. Alright, we are here. Wherever this place is. And it's finally becoming morning time. Great, I took the wrong. Ah. Why did they have to place all these stupid trees? Like, couldn't they just let us drive anywhere we wanted? <clears throat> like, trees are fine, but the fallen trees are just annoying. Hey, we got 33 creds. Finally, we have enough money to buy a line. And we gotta talk to that chatty lady again. When explorers first entered the region in 1805, they met the Nez Perce, Crow, and Shoshone tribes in the area. I think this is bugged. I swear we came here. He said the same thing, but more sentences. Unless this is another one. Another lookout point. Because now it's showing car valet before it wasn't. All right, so how much money do we have? 129. Okay, let's quickly go back home and buy that. Because I want to just catch one darn fish that isn't as big as an atom. Either way, in an area this big, you would have more than 12 species. Yeah. I don't know, man. They're like, well, all right, 12, all 12 species is enough. You call this, you've come to the right place. Hold on. Let's make sure we do this right, okay? So, this is 2.5 kg strength. So, 2.5 is the biggest line we can have on this. Okay. So line 2.5. So 2.5 is the most we can get. I swear if this is not fit on the reel, I'm gonna really <clears throat> load fishing, 12 kg rod, 3 kg reel, there we go, 2.5 kg line, float 10 kg, wormy worm. How many worms do I have left? I don't get it. How many worms do I have left? Why won't it tell me? Uh, Rod, I have three worms left, so let's go ahead and buy some worms. Bait. Wow, I don't even have enough money to buy a worm. Wait, what if I run out of bait? I guess I gotta do spin fishing no matter what then. Where is this river? Oh my god, it's still nighttime. I thought it was becoming morning. But the moon just came over the mountains, which is why it's much brighter now. Wow, that's some hardcore day-night cycle. At least it's a lot brighter, so it's actually not bad. Now, where can I go where we can catch some fishies? Alright, five... 50 centimeters. Okay, our new setup, guys. This has to be it. Uh, the flashlight triggered on when I visited the town at night. Hey, right off the bat, we got a big fish close by. Is it going to be enough? Is our setup going to be enough? Unless that was just a fake animation. That was a large bass that came very close. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, there's fish jumping everywhere else but hair. We are gonna wait. There is a fish that's gonna come. <laughs> I 
<laughs> uh, this tracking scammy people. You know, our float decides when it wants to float and when it does not want to float. Something was wrong. Man, they try to scam me in every way. Wow. Wow, look at all those fish jumping. What? I really need to like throw it there then. If nothing comes. Alright, there's like two big fish jumping here, so we we better get something here. I'm not ending this stream until we get a fish. Okay. Oh wow, that is a huge fish. Huge fish wa uh, walking, uh, swimming uh, towards our bait. Oh, damn it. We're not going to be able to get this. Oh, actually, we might be able to get this. Oh my god, we can... Okay, maybe not. For a moment, I thought we were going to cast this guy. Why is this fish swimming towards where we are crankling the rod? Okay, 40% friction break I've increased. We might be able to reel this in. Wow, that is a huge trout. Here we go. Oh my god. Finally. Gold rainbow trout 5.46 kg look at how much experience all of a sudden we gained by getting a bigger fish 7000 xp <laughs> thank you thank you guys oh finally Hundred and ninety buckaroonies finally. Wow, that was a huge trout just chilling there. You're making a sandwich, do you want one? Uh thank you. But uh I'm gonna go actually for lunch. Oh man, finally we get a big fish, I swear. No fish fatigue really killed my mood or any joy I had for this game. Uh, because I was like, hey, look, even if we hook into a bigger fish with our tiny gear, I'm willing to spend 5-10 minutes fighting the fish on stream because that'll be fun. But when people say there's no fish fatigue and it's just a lie, that really just killed everything, you know? Like, what's the point of fighting a fish if you know you're not going to be able to reel it in? You need to have... The setup close to the the weight of the fish i guess in order for the game to accept that yes you can eventually reel it in so in the end the exploration is really fun 
I like the map. It's huge. We have like we've only explored this little bit here and we've gone a little bit here. So we have explored, I guess, majority of the map. Um, the day and night cycle are beautiful. The lighting is beautiful. The world's beautiful. But that is everything that is not to do with fishing. Right, I'm struggling with the 500 gram line, but after 5-10 minutes of fighting a fish, it should be tired enough for us to reel it in. Right? So, like that should affect the fish fatigue, if, even if I was struggling. But when people said, no, it's never going to get tired because there is no fish fatigue, then that's when I have a problem. Maybe with, you know, larger gear maybe we can i don't know maybe then there's fish fatigue i don't know um but yeah it is sightseeing simulator but when it comes to fishing aspect that the game is about the water looks disgusting it's an eyesore it's unacceptable to even release a fishing game with water looking like this i don't know what happened uh back at their studio uh that rainbow honestly did not get tired at all I just cranked up the brake and pushed it further and further. Closer to snapping my line. That's all I did. Because at lower brake, like, nothing was happening to the fish. I did not feel it getting tired. I just got impatient and cranked up and then it came in finally. Uh, so this fish fighting me mechanism, I have major doubts. And I just, I don't know. I think I need to play more, you know, like catch bigger fish and see what's going on. In order to really tell you if there is fish fighting mechanism and if it, if it's pleasurable. Like I want to fight a fish for five minutes and finally be able to tire it out and reel it in. And I haven't seen that yet because we just haven't caught many fish yet. Uh, so I guess the more I fish, now that we have a better setup, and see what happens with these bigger fish, then I'll be able to tell you a proper answer of how I feel about it and is it worth it. Right now I have my doubts. Um, not being able to sell the fish. Uh, XP means absolutely nothing. You get money by exploring. Uh, you get money from fishing, but it's so buggy that I'm not getting fish sometimes. I swear I explored this location already. And it's not there anymore. I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, the vehicle sound is just crazy when you uh, do the side explore thing. So this game is very buggy as well. So... Yeah, I don't know. It's really rough. I think it will take a lot of patches to fix this game. But at the end of the day, there's only 12 species of fish. So in within people say within five hours, you have experienced the game and there's no reason to play it anymore. Uh, fish fighting. F I, I don't know. I got to play more. So that's my and verdict on this game um i would love to stream more of this because honestly there's more to explore but i don't know uh, so let's see what happens exactly so kp uh got tired of the game bored of the game after six plus hours because he unlocked everything uh that's what i'm saying within five hours you're gonna catch diamond Basically, in RF4 terms, a trophy of every fish on the map within five hours. And for 20 bucks, five hours of gameplay, is that really worth the money? That's up to you to decide. To me, it's not. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be it for the stream. Checking out uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler. Let's see what the future holds for this game. Let's see what they do how they fix it, the words they say, that will all change our views as time goes on, even if the fish fighting is just very arcadey and simplistic. You already requested a refund, hot damn. Well, 
That's why I stream so people who haven't bought the game who are on the line, they can see for themselves. They can decide what they want. Honestly, with this game and UFS 2, just wait. I don't think this game is going to get any better because it was supposed to be an arcade game anyway. If that's more of your thing, then I guess just wait and see. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me. Hot damn. Refunded. I don't blame you guys. What they said and what the game came out to be, big difference. Uh, Duncan, Jessica, Noor Lambert, DT Gaming, thank you all for hanging out with me. This is going to be the end of the stream. If anyone else wants me to say bye to them, post in chat, Matrix. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I will try to stream again Russian Fishing 4 in about an hour or two. I'm not sure. Um, but have a great rest of your day. If I see you guys again on stream, if I do stream, then I'll see you then. If not, then I will see you guys maybe on the weekend. Thank you guys. Bye everyone. Bye. <laughs> oh man.